This video demonstrates the donning and doffing of the following PPE. Gown, gloves, disposable face mask, and face shield. The first step is to remove personal items, such as jewelry, watches, coats, jackets, cell phones, pens, or additional bags, and place them in a location outside of the laboratory. Then, tie back any long hair if present. Next, gather your solid front wraparound gown with tight-knit cuffs, a single pair of gloves, a disposable face mask or an N95 respirator, and a disposable face shield. The decision whether to use a disposable face mask or an N95 respirator will depend on the laboratory site-specific and activity-specific risk assessment. Please note, this scenario will demonstrate donning and doffing a disposable face mask. Make sure you have the right size gown and gloves, and don't forget to visually inspect all of your PPE for rips, tears, loose or missing straps, and replace any defective PPE you do find. Next, pull on the gown, fastening it securely behind your neck and back or side. Do not tie it in a knot or fasten it so tightly that you cannot easily remove it later. Make sure the gown fits well to allow for easy movement. Street clothing should not be exposed. Next, put on your disposable face mask with ear loops behind your ears, ensuring a snug fit against your face. With your index finger of both hands, Press down on each side of the flexible nose piece so that the top of the face mask fits snugly against your nose and cheeks. Put on the disposable face shield and stretch to expand the elastic strap and place it behind your head with the foam resting just above your eyebrows. Adjust the strap so that it fits snugly against your face. Face shields must cover your forehead extend below your chin, and wrap around the sides of your face. And finally, put on your gloves. First, pull the gown's knit cuff down around the palm of your hand, and then pull the glove over, not under, the cuff. This helps ensure your sleeves won't slip out and the knit cuff won't be exposed to hazardous materials during work. Ensure there are no punctures or tears in the gloves before beginning work. The following steps describe one method and sequence of doffing PPE from most contaminated to least contaminated. Other methods and sequences may vary based on the laboratory site-specific and activity-specific risk assessments, the procedures being conducted, and the PPE worn. The first step of doffing your PPE is removing your gown. To do this, untie the gown at your waist, grasp the gown's shoulders, and pull the gown forward, releasing the neck closure. Pull the gown off of your shoulders and away from your body, rolling the gown inside out as you go. Once off your shoulders, remove your arms from the sleeves. Before completely pulling off the gown sleeves, Pinch the gloves and sleeve together to help peel off the gloves. Roll the gloves and gown inside out into a bundle. Take care to prevent the potentially contaminated outside of the gown and gloves from touching your bare hands and your street clothes. Dispose of the bundle into the biohazard waste container. Apply alcohol-based hand sanitizer with at least 60% ethanol or 70% isopropanol to your hands. Wash your hands with soap and water or don a new pair of gloves. Tilt your head slightly forward to take off your face shield. Grasp the straps above the ears and gently lift the face shield away from your face, taking care to avoid touching the shield itself, which may be potentially contaminated. 
Then, discard the disposable face shield in the biohazard waste container. To remove your disposable face mask, remove the ear loops, taking care to avoid touching the potentially contaminated exterior surface of the face mask. Pull the face mask away from your face and dispose of it in the biohazard waste container. Last, wash your hands with soap and water. Lather the backs of your hands, between your fingers, and under your nails. Scrub for at least 20 seconds. Washing your hands with soap and water is the best method. However, if soap and water are unavailable, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer containing at least 60% ethanol or 70% isopropanol can be used as a temporary solution until soap and water are available. Additional considerations. Closed-toed shoes with solid and impermeable uppers should be worn in the laboratory. PPE will vary based on a laboratory site-specific and activity-specific risk assessment. Donning and doffing areas should be physically separated from each other to avoid contamination of cleaned PPE and personal belongings with potentially contaminated PPE. Donning and doffing procedures vary per institution. Follow institutional policies and procedures. For additional training and workforce development resources, please visit cdc.gov labtraining and click on the Job Aids button.